Well, Jesus himself said, when you pray, pray after this manner. And many of us get tripped up right there. We start arguing. Some will say the Lord means for you to re just recite these words. And then some will say, no, he didn't mean you for you just to recite those words only. He meant for you to recite those words. And then after you have done that, then say something on your own. And then somebody else will say, no, he didn't mean that. He means for you to say something on your own and then close out with these words. The Lord simply said, pray after this manner. Now, when I was in elementary school, I was taught to add and multiply, subtract and divide. And then uh, they gave me some problems. And before every set of problems, they gave me some examples to show me how to work the problem. Now that didn't mean that all of the numbers that I was going to see in the example would be the same numbers that I would encounter. Whatever numbers you encounter, work it after this manner. And then we were taught letter writing. We were taught that any good letter had to have at least six parts. In the first place, you had to have the name of the person to whom you're writing. The name in this prayer letter is Our Father. In order to pray, you've got to pray Our Father. I've got to pray for you and you've got to pray for me, Our Father. Now, if God is your Father and He is my Father, that makes us brothers. Because a man will not accept another man as brother until he recognizes that they both have the same father. We've got to pray our father. You don't like that too well, do you? Our father. And then we had to have the address of the one to whom you're writing. Which art in heaven. And somebody gets the idea that God is a remote God. He's sitting high somewhere. And we have to tell him to come here and go yonder. Tell him to go out in California and see about my son. Go by the hospital and visit the sick and do this and do that. That's that other fellow who has to go to and fro. The Lord is already here. He's everywhere here. You see, I said that other fellow has to go to and fro. He had to come here. But the Lord is already here. And poor fellow, that other fellow, had to, uh, he had to catch him a ride. You had to bring him. But the Lord is already here. And then uh, they were, we were taught as a greeting and a salutation. Now, the greeting or salutation you use will depend upon what you think about the person to whom you're writing. If you're writing to Mary and she is a casual friend, you're satisfied to just say, Dear Mary. Brother, if you love Mary, you will spend a little time <laughs> trying to think of a name sweeter than that name. Now, you know what a name is. Go ahead and put it down there. But no, you want a name sweeter than that name. Dear, just go and say Mary. No, but you love her. Uh, the greeting or salutation in this prayer letter is hallowed be thy name hallowed be thy name that name is to be respected that's the only name don't you know that's the only name that will save you that's the only name we can meet in that's the only name we can pray in hallowed be thy name and then we were taught 
that when you start the body of the letter, always express some interest in the one to whom you're writing. Don't start off talking about yourself, I this and I that. Uh, always express some interest in the one you're writing. Those of us who've been away from home, possibly in school, and we needed something, it didn't take us long to learn how to ask about the other sisters and brothers, the aunts and the uncles, and then go on and tell them to send you a hundred dollars. <laughs> always express some interest in the one you're writing. We start the body of this prayer letter by praying, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And then when you've expressed some interest in him, then go on and ask him for what you want. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And then we were taught that there is a complimentary close. Now the complimentary close differs from the greeting or salutation in that now you can't figure out who you are. I am your, uh, I am your, and you'll spend uh, time, about an hour, uh, trying to figure out what you are. I am, uh, you know who you are, go and put it on there. I am your, and then, Finally, when you arrive at it, then you will say, I am yours forever and always. And, uh, well, you will put several forevers there and ever. And then you'll underscore it two or three times and put some exclamation points there. Now, now you might change your mind tomorrow, but for now, it's forever. <laughs> uh, in this a complimentary close to this prayer letter. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. That's a complimentary close.